Today I'm going to talk about the story of a cleaning lady who went on to become the director of NASA. She came to America from Colombia with $300 in her pocket and now she is the uh, leading flight director for NASA and she helped land the latest rover Perseverance on Mars. What an incredible story and um, it's not just going to be a story. I hope it really inspires you to shift your mindset and your your experiences and uh, thoughts about how you conduct yourself in life. I think this story is one of a huge pattern of immigrants, um, many of which I've known, many of which I've uh, seen speak and, and tell me this in person, or they have a relative who's done something similar, where they came to the U.S. with um, only a few dollars. I mean, even my parents have very similar stories, a couple hundred dollars, and through that, they leveraged the opportunity that this uh, this great country provided and found a incredible uh, job and in life. And it was not easy, okay? It's not something you fall into on your lap and it's not something where you can just walk in and just assume it'll happen. Um, a lot of these stories do come from people who really also worked their butts off to make it happen. So I think the first thing that's, that's worth mentioning is... Um, she was born and raised in Colombia, and there was a lot of violence in that country. So, you know, she was looking up to the sky and the stars, and that was her safe place. And she told herself, you know, there's got to be something better than this out there. Um, now, um, of course, he, she, she moves on to actually work as a cleaning lady. And here's, I think, the first shift between successful people and those who are unsuccessful. Um, some people, uh, you know, and I've seen them, they just kind of plateau there, you know, and they hate it, they have a negative attitude, they think they're beneath that job. Here's her attitude, her name is Diana Tru Trujillo, and uh, her attitude was this, I saw everything coming my way as an opportunity. I didn't see it as, I can't believe I'm cleaning a bathroom right now. It was just more like, I'm glad that I have a job and I can buy food and a house to sleep. And so I think that all of those things make me and even today helps me see life differently. Think about that. Think about how uh, wonderful that attitude is. Uh, you know, a lot of people, even those born in this country, you know, they get kind of enamored and fantasized about this optimized you know, perfect life, perfect job, and this like passion that they just love, and it's super fun, it's not work, and they make a lot of money. And unfortunately, for some, that can cause this kind of elitist attitude, and uh, just kind of like a poor attitude almost, like, you know, I'm beneath this job, which causes them not only to do a bad job, but to kind of drag down others with their attitude. And, you know, it, it just spirals down into either plateauing or you know, even worse behavior. Instead, you know, she saw this as, you know, this is something to be grateful for. And that attitude really kind of helped her um, level up as well as enjoy her time in the job. Um, so Diana was raising a family that, like many others across Latin America, believed a woman's place was in the house, taking care of her husband. Diana's mother dropped out of medical school when she met Diana's father. When they divorced, Diana and her mother were left with nothing. We didn't even have food. We'd boil an egg, we cut it in half, and that was our lunch. Jeez, <laughs> these stories are crazy. I remember just laying down on the grass and looking into the sky. So, you know, there she is coming from this traditional outlook on what a woman comes from, becoming a boss in her own right as a lead flight director for NASA and breaking through those glass ceilings. Um, think about that. Think about all, all that's come to her. And also think about how long it took. It took her 30 years in the making. Um, and that is also a huge thing. You know, it's not something that happens overnight. You're not just going to just jump from $300 in your pocket, cleaning lady, to, you know, director of NASA in a year. Um, people want things so quickly now. And, you know, you have to realize it's the journey. You don't have this attitude of, oh, this sucks, because, you know, it's going to take you longer than you think, 20, 30 years. You're not just going to get to this high peak level of your dream job overnight. Um, 
another huge part that I really liked about her story is that, you know, we get fulfillment from many different areas and she really seems to um, get at least part of her purpose from representing her culture. She says, every single thing I do, I'm representing my culture, my country, my heritage, my people, and I have to give my best every single time. You know, um, I in the same way have a lot of respect and pride for my Asian immigrant culture. You know, some some people uh, in the Asian American culture, they're, they're always bashing their parents. But, you know, there's good and bad, you know. There's stuff that maybe, sure, they maybe could be improving as parents. But at the same time, there's a lot to be proud of. You know, a lot of these people, they come to this country and they work their butt off. They have very little. They study their butts off. They either do well in school or they find some other way. And they build a livelihood, a livelihood that would have been much better than anyone else here. And I remember this quote. It was said to me in a... I think it was some type of a history and cultures course I took in college. And the teacher, one of the first things he ever said, he had this big, booming, confident voice. He said, the only person who is not an immigrant in this country is someone who is 100% Native American. Raise your hand if you are 100% Native American. He said that there's a classroom of 300 people who st- stacked full, not a single soul raised their hand. And he said, okay, what about anyone who has partial, partial Native American blood? Raise your hand. This is your country. And no one, everyone else is an immigrant. And I think zero or like one or two people raised their hand. And um, then he made a little joke saying like, sorry what we've done to your country and so forth. But it really just goes to speak to like, you know, there's a lot of hatred around uh immigrants or different people and I would rather spread a message of love you know when you really look back to our history and roots we're all immigrants into this country so let's let's make the most of this planet preserve it and so forth so anyhow back to this story I, I want to keep this short because you know it turns out YouTube likes short watch times so check this out yourself if you search it up you'll find it she was on CBS News um, incredible incredible ex- story uh, her name, once again, is Diana Trujillo. If you want more details on her story, um, yeah, you'll find it if you search it up. Um, I think it's just incredible. Um, and uh, she even has an Instagram if you want to follow her on there. And uh, um, I think um, if you look at her progression, it's definitely you know incremental. She, she went to one school, transferred to University of Florida. Then she majored in aerospace, aerospace engineering. It seems like, you know, whilst there's a huge rhetoric now that's from most of the entrepreneur community saying, you, you got to drop out of school, college is useless. It depends on where you're going. For her, um, she definitely wanted to be in aerospace engineering, which is definitely a tough program. I, I knew aerospace engineers uh, in my time and who were studying to be that. Not an easy program, especially one that's severely dominated by men. Um, and for her to be a Latino, who re- which only represents 8% of the science, technology, engineering, and math STEM program, it is just um, very admirable. But she, you know, she, she didn't let those odds bias her. Um, and it is just incredible what she's, uh, she's done. Uh, last Thursday, Diana hosted Juntos Perseverver- Perseveramos, Together We Persevere. NASA's first ever Spanish language broadcast for a planetary landing and it had over 2.5 million views. What's next for Diana? Space. Something has to be out there that's better than this. Some other species that treats themselves better or values people better. Ooh, that's some deep stuff. Looks like she's looking for extraterrestrial life, which is probably out there. I mean, there's there's more stars in the sky than we can count. Um, so, very interesting stuff. Great, uh, great story. Hopefully it inspires you. Like, subscribe, comment.